Welcome back to another software how-to, and this is a critical, important video for those who want to run voice meter, but have found that many of the other videos are very complicated, overly elaborate, and unnecessarily difficult. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is you're gonna go to the voice meter website and download it. It is a free software, voice meter, all one word, search for it in your Google or other browser that you like to use, then download it and load it like you would any other software. Then reboot your computer. Once you've rebooted, you're gonna go to your Windows tab, either via your keyboard or click it with your mouse. And then you're gonna click or type control panel. All right? And we're gonna go to the control panel. Now, if your control panel doesn't look like this, if it's, you know, any of the other different variations, view by, then select category. In category, we're gonna go to hardware and sound. Then sound. From here, what I want you to do is select the speakers that you want to hear your sound coming from, whether it's headsets or you're using your standard speakers. Then I want you to set it to default. I can't do that right now, but just set this initially to default. Go to your recording device, like your microphone, whichever microphone you want to use, and set that one to enable, and then set it to default. Once you've done that, this seems very redundant, but once you have done that, you're gonna go down to your voice meter, okay? Now, as you can see, as it's been explained in other videos, I do not use the virtual cable. It is not necessary. Now, you have already set your speakers to the default. Don't worry about it. What I want you to do is come down to your voice meter, enable it, and then I want you to set it as your default. Okay? Then go to your recording. You've already set up the microphone as the default. Don't worry about it. Come down here, select your voice meter output, enable it, set it to default. Okay? Then you're going to fire up your voice meter software. All right? Now, I'm running the older version. The one you may download is Banana. That is irrelevant. Because now what you want to do is, in the hardware input, you're going to click here. Now, what you're going to select is your actual microphone that you are using. Don't worry about WDM or MME. These are just the particular driver settings that you can use uh, when you're recording. If you notice any particular sound or any particular difficulties, then you may want to change between these two. But I use MME. Sometimes I use WM or WDM. Doesn't really matter. We're just keeping this super simple. Set your microphone. Okay? Now, over here in hardware output, this is where you're going to be listening to any of your playback that you're recording or that you're working with. Now, you're not going to necessarily hear yourself speaking like I'm doing now because I don't have it enabled. So, from here, you're also going to go with MME speakers, which are going to be the Plantronics. I'm using different speakers and different microphones, obviously, so I'm using two different pieces of equipment. And then I'm going to select that, and then basically, you're set up. You're set up to record. So, any software, recording software, Twitch, um, I'm sorry, uh, OBS or whatever you're going to be using just simply set everything up to voice meter and you're pretty much set now if you have any particular questions you can ask them here but i tried i wanted to make this as super simple as possible and this is as simple as you're going to get all the other videos will show you how to set up all kinds of different uh, mics and headsets and uh, mumble and discord and whatever else you're going to want to use this is how you get to directly, specifically, to what you want to use. Now, in general, now that you know how to set all this up, we can talk a little bit more about the other types of settings. Now, here you have your voice indicator, which you can click on and just move around. I found that this works best for me, this particular setting, because it gives it a little bit deeper of a, kind of like a DJ radio style, deeper bass sound to it. This is going to be your audibility. In other words, like... Um, for example, if I went totally quiet, you see it's picking up a little bit of ambient noise. 
Now you can direct this upwards. I have mine set to 0.4. You just turn it like a knob. Just hold your left mouse key and move it around and you can set it. I keep mine set at about 0.4 because I got, you know, I got, for example, right now the heater's running. Uh, but you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to run a fan or some other loud noise. So I try to keep everything shut off, but you can make that adjustment here. Your hardware input. Don't worry about this. This is going to be for when you use additional equipment. So I just ignore this altogether. Virtual input. What this actually means is anything that's going to be recorded from your desktop, as I'm doing now, or from whatever game you are playing. Okay? Now, the A's and the B's and all these other uh, unnecessary settings are just a matter of setting up additional items. So if you just want your microphone, select B. Um, you don't have to worry about these other settings at the moment. Like I said, there are plenty of videos out there that are gonna go into the overly complicated and unnecessarily difficult settings of how all these things work. If you just wanna get going, this is all you need to do. In your virtual input, you wanna select A because that's gonna be your desktop and that's gonna be your game, uh, your gaming and so forth. Whatever you wanna do. Now, I would, I would simply say keep everything on its default, just like I have. No selections here, no selections here, 0 dB, 0 dB. If you want to change the sound levels on what you hear or don't hear, you can do that if you want to. You can change the sound levels of your gaming if you want to, or you can mute it. If I were to click this A right now, we would lose sound altogether because this is recording everything that's on the desktop. All right, guys, that is the simple, basic, all-around easy to use setup for voice meter if you just want to do narration do gaming and keep it super super simple